Assalamu alaikum everyone got a question on vectors we're struggling on this question myself earlier on let's see if I can solve it now so we have a question where it states O A N O M B and A P B are straight lines A N is 2 O A O A is A so we start off by labeling it so A since it's double O A it's 2 A okay and then OB, the whole of OB in this direction, the whole thing is B. Okay. So the question says AP is K times AB, where K is a scalar quantity, given that MPN is a straight line. So let's connect MPN. It's a straight line. Um, find the values of k for the value of k. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start off is find the vector ab. Right, might need a lot of space for this one. So to find the vector ab, that's going to be ao plus ob. And AO is minus A because it's going in the opposite direction of OA. And OB is B. This can also be written as B minus A. Now, since M is the midpoint of OB, OM in this way is half B. Right, so I'm going to then work out the value of MN or the vector MN. And that's going to be M O plus O N, which is the whole line here, and that's 3A. So M O is half, it's minus a half B, sorry, because it's going in the opposite direction, plus 3A. Make the minus a bit more prominent. This can also be written as 3a minus half b or b over 2. Okay, so that's mn. Now, if you look at this carefully, right, mn is mp plus pn because they are straight line as the question says. So let's try and find uh, MP and uh, PN. Whichever one is easier, then we'll start working with it. So MP can be found. So when we look at these vectors, the starting point will have to be the same and the ending point will be the same. So I'm going to go on this journey, MO plus OA plus AP. Now the question tells us what AP is, it's K times AB, which means it will be K times, and we found AB over here, which is B minus A, so AP is K times B minus A. So MO is minus B over two, or minus a half B, plus OA is A, and AP is K times B minus A. Okay, I'll leave that as it is. And then I'm going to start finding PN. Looks right. So PN is going to be PA plus AN. And PA is the opposite of AP. So it's going in the opposite direction, so it's minus K times B minus A. And AN is 2A. Okay, now since MP and PN are on the straight line MN, 
they have to be multiples of mn i'm going to try and out of these two and uh, pn pn looks the less complex of the two so i'm going to start working with that i'm going to expand this bracket so minus k times b is minus bk minus k times a is plus a k plus 2a okay so since they are multiples of um, mn since pn yeah is going to be a multiple of mn which is 3a minus b over 2 the aspect of oh i forgot the k sorry plus k a k yeah so the a's over here will multiply by something to give you 3a and the b's over here will multiply something to give you minus b over 2 so i can just say that um 3a which is the a element of the vector of mn can be divided by a times well let me write it as it is the a element of pn which is ak plus 2a so whatever that is if I, it should be the same as the b element of vector mn minus b over 2 divided by the b element of vector pn minus bk all right so now i'm going to factorize the denominator on the left hand side so that's going to be 3a over yeah a times k plus 2 equals minus b over 2 times 1 over minus bk because i'm dividing so i can write this as a fraction if divide by a fraction or multiply by its reciprocal so what happens is the two a's cancel out over here so i'm left with 3 over k plus 2 equals and i'll cancel out the two minus b's over here 1 over 2k now i'm going to cross multiply so 3 times 2k is equal to k plus 2 So that gives me 6k is equal to k plus 2. I subtract k both sides. Which is 5k is equal to 2. Then I divide both sides by 5. Which means k is equal to 2 over five.